One fine morning, we find ourselves on the Odoriko Limited Express train, on our way down southwest of Tokyo to the Izu Peninsula for a two-day adventure. On day one, we'll be going all the way down south to explore the picturesque seaside town of Shimoda. And on day two, we'll be doing a very scenic hike along the rugged Jogasaki coastline. Meanwhile, it's a pretty long ride between Tokyo and Shimoda. But the views along the way are pretty amazing. So this is actually one of my favorite train routes. It's a very scenic route. There is the sea on the left and the mountains on the right. I would say the better view is definitely on the left. But then you also get blasted by the morning sun. So it's a trade-off. Right, this is Izuki Shimoda Station. It is very windy somehow and very cold, even though it's very sunny outside. Man, I love this sort of retro stations. So this is a model of the black ships of Komodo Perry's fleet who helped open up Japan to foreign trade in the 19th century. So you'll see a lot of these all around this town because I think the treaty was signed in Shimoda. Not all of the treaties were signed in Shimoda. Our references to Perry's black ships are nonetheless ubiquitous, giving the idyllic coastal town a dash of historic flavor. So the local delicacy here is this thing called kinme dai, which is a fish. Apparently according to the dictionary, the English translation of that is Splendid Alfonsino. And this is a Splendid Alfonsino burger, which is very large and uh, quite good. Shimoda Burger Ramaru is actually a little bit of a local celebrity, having been featured in multiple TV shows and anime. It's a small shop with a laid-back western look and pretty good fish burgers. Well, that was kind of an interesting experience. It was a little bit too windy but eating Kinmeda burger outdoors? So in the summer this area is a beach activity hotspot which explains this kind of resort looking buildings and the seaside is right over there out on the bay was a black ship with an entourage of enthusiastic seagulls it is extremely windy oof Sometimes the gusts are so strong, I feel myself being physically pushed by it. So that is a black ship that you can ride and take a little cruise around the bay here. But we're not going to do that today. These are very retro looking resorts. It's kind of cool. Okay, we're heading back to the town area now. Mm -hmm. 
certainly not the most lively season. But I kind of like quaint towns like these that you know it just looks strange and and unfamiliar. It's got so much character and stuff, you know. So this sort of scenic waterway is called Perry's Road after uh, Commodore Perry, clearly. Perry Road was apparently used by the Commodore himself when visiting for negotiations with the Japanese. It is sh short, picturesque and nostalgic in style. Laying just hidden alongside Perry Road were a number of historic shrines. These once served as sites of diplomatic negotiation. Okay, so this is Liu Senji, and apparently this is uh, the location where Komodo Perry and uh, Daigaku Hayashi, ambassador of the shogunate government, concluded the Shimoda Treaty, which uh, opened the ports of Japan to foreign trade. It's very peaceful here. Even the wind seems a bit subdued. So right here by the temple is a uh, museum, the Museum of the Black Ship, with a somewhat questionable choice of abbreviation. So that is supposed to be Commodore Perry. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't pay to go all the way in, but apparently there are like belongings of Commodore Perry that are actually preserved here. Okay, apparently there is another historical temple or something called Chōdakuji, this way, along these really narrow alleyways that are my favorite, so what's not to like? Okay, interesting little story here. So the temple we were at earlier, Liu Senji, that was the site of the signing of a treaty between Commodore Perry representing the US and Japan. This temple, Chōdakuji, was the site of the signing of a treaty between Imperial Russia, Vice Admiral Putyatin, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, and Japan. And what's more, apparently during the negotiations, a tsunami tidal wave destroyed the Russians' Vice Admiral's ship. But despite the setback, the negotiations continued and the treaty was signed. So, cool story. Something else we noticed walking about was the presence of several nice antique looking coffee houses. Perfect for a break.
dude, this place is awesome. It's like, it's so... The staff is really nice. The old man came along earlier to, to try to explain in case we didn't understand what the menu says. So that is something called Wingna coffee. And apparently, uh, the guy explained it to us, but it's coffee with whipped cream. It looks like there's like some burnt sugar on it as well. So being the Philistine that hates coffee, I got tea latte. And uh, it still looks really good. Oh, that's nice. Got a nice little teacup set. A great little hipster coffee house. You know, I really like the mountains here. They kind of look like the mountains that you draw as a kid. Okay, we're back at the station area. We are heading to the hotel. This time, we should be able to check in. like this is a hot spring sauce little foot bath here not sure if I'm keen on using it but it's cool that's here we booked the business hotel just beside the station imagining a sterile high-rise with functional amenities instead we found a little building by the street with a somewhat charming homely air. So we're immediately heading back out again because it's golden hour. The wind is picking up. I forgot to button my shirt, it's very cold. <laughs> so according to Jia Xiang's phone app, the sun is in that direction and we're not gonna see it set anyway. So <laughs> I guess we're just stuck with this. Which is still not bad. Uh, 
Oh, I got my weird random seaside town fix. Things are good. And of course, being in a seaside town, we couldn't pass up on some seafood. We randomly chose a seafood izakaya in town, and the food was incredible. So this is Kimme Dai, which is a local specialty. Uh, splendid alphonse, you know? Some sort of snail, I guess. That's Kimme Dai Koroke. Uh, and yeah, fish. Fish. Seafood. Sashimi. Fantastic stuff. Asian flash going. Right, fantastic. Time to head back to the hotel. There were some lights around town, but it was mostly quiet after dark and quite chilly. So we opted to scurry back to the hotel and get ready for bed. Tomorrow, we hike the Jogasaki coast. <laughs> <laughs>